Welcome to the Tom Green Show. Or this week, the Boston Show. get to this video we have some very serious business to um, talk about briefly and that is the um, bombings that have occurred at the Boston um, Marathon yesterday that have so far taken the lives of three people and have injured hundred a hundred and forty plus others so before I get to the topic of this show, we'd like to take a moment of silence for those victims. Let's do so right now. Thank you. Anyway. As for that, let's get to my MLB picks for 2013. <laughs> anyway, to my MLB picks. This time I decided that I'd that I wait for about a week or two after the start of the season to see how things are really going with all the teams and then make my picks. But they probably didn't change all that much. So let's get started. In the AL West, I'm going to try to make this quick and simple. The Angels picked up Josh Hamilton while the A's surprisingly made the playoffs last year. In the AL West, after as Houston moves from the NL Central to the AL West, my predictions are... The Angels are in first by a game over the A's. While the Rangers finished third, the Mariners finished fourth, and for the first time in the AL West's history, the Houston Astros will finish fifth. The first time anybody can say that. Houston? We have a problem. Yes, you did. Anyway, AL Central. You've got, of course, the Detroit Tigers, with which Victor Martinez has come back off the off the DL from a, from an ACL injury, and some other additions have been made, including Brian Pena and others. The Royals are a sweeper, or a sleeper. Wow, why did I say sweeper? A sleeper. But this year, the Tigers winning by six games, and this is not biased, my friends. Tigers winning by six games of the Chicago White Sox. The Royals, a surprise third. The Twins, fourth. And the Indians, an upset fifth. Although they did get Terry Francona. So, Cleveland. You have a problem. In the AL East, the Blue Jays made some very big additions, including Mark Burley and Jose Reyes, including others. They were a surprise to win the AL East, and that is who I have picked to win the AL East. Pretty much almost an opposite of what usual years are. The Blue Jays finishing first with the Rays four games back. The O's just right behind the Rays, followed by Yankees and Red Sox. Anyway, seedings for the playoffs are Tigers 1, Blue Jays 2, Angels 3, A's 4th, Rays 5th. To the National League. NL West, the Giants, of course, winners of the World Series in four games when they shouldn't have won. That's just because I'm a Tigers fan, my friends. Plain and simple, the Giants win that division because you have a lot of crap-shooting teams in that division. 
Um, Giants win by four games over the Dodgers, followed by the Rockies, who are surprisingly having a good start. Padres and D-backs. The NL Central. This year only having five teams, Hugh with Houston going to the AL West. Um, of course, you have the Reds, which are very good. You have the Brewers, who are always up there. The Cubs suck. Sorry, Cubs fans, they're my second team, too. I know. Tears of joy, or tears of sadness are going down there. Anyway, Brewers will finish first as a surprise over the Reds, two games back, followed by the Cards, Pirates, and the Cubs. And so I brought this hat on to demonstrate for the NL East. What it feels like to be a Mets fan. Just listen. Good, because so far Halloween's a bigger letdown than being a Mets fan. Opening day, and here's the first pitch, and the season's over. That's how it feels like, my friends, to be a Mets fan. But fortunately, they will not finish fifth this year. Because the Marlins will finish last because they're stupid and got rid of all their talent. Anyway, Nats first with Bryce Harper. Braves second with Freddie Gonzalez as their manager. Good manager. Phil's third. Mets fourth. Marlins fifth. Seedings go Nats one. Giants two. Brewers three. Reds four. Braves five. And I have a full playoff schedule right here, but I'm going to shorten this video up. I'm going to just talk about the World Series. The Detroit Tigers against the upset Atlanta Braves. The Braves will give them a shot, but Detroit will win in six. Because Detroit's that awesome, and you got V-Mart, Fielder, Cabrera, uh, Torrey Hunter, Austin Jackson. They did a very they did an excellent move in getting rid of Brendan Bosch. He, he sucked. Um who else? Ryan Rayburn. He was terrible as well. Good move by getting rid of them. They got the pieces. All they need to do is win the ball game. So anyway, until next time, pray for Boston. Go Tigers. Peace.